welcomes you to college football. It's a CFA Big Ten matchup. Penn State hosting the University of Michigan with a lot at stake for these two teams. And we'll continue as 90,000 get ready for Penn State and Michigan. Heard an awful lot of people thought on Wednesday when the snow started that this game might get transferred to Ann Arbor. It is indeed a miracle. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Before the snow even stopped falling, the call went out for volunteers. They were going to pay them $5 an hour to try and shovel off the 93,000 seats. Some people turned out, but they needed more help as well. They went to the local penal institutions, got some of the prisoners to come out and shovel 24 hours a day. Then folks that drove in from Ann Arbor, Michigan fans, they said, give us the shovels, we'll help as well. All the seats are uncovered. There's a lot of snow, but I'll tell you what, this field is ready. The track is very, very good. There is one sidebar, though. This is the sideline right here, only about four yards away. This is where all the snow has ended up, and it is hard, very hard pack. And I'll tell you what, friend, if you start to run a sideline pass route or try to go to the sideline, you could end up thinking you're playing an arena football game instead of a college football game. We're going to have to get some cover as well from the snowballs. All right, Jack. So the Wolverines will kick it off. This is Jay Feely from Odessa, Florida. There is Stephen Pitts, his last home game as a Nittany Lion this senior day. Coming out from the six-yard line. Trying to find an alley on the right sideline, and he is hammered Number out of bounds. Stephen, so it is quarterback Number Wally Richardson, the junior from Sumter, South Carolina, who will lead the Nittany Lion offense. The Chili's backs and receivers for Coach Paterno. And Dick Vermeil, there is number 10, Bobby Ingram, the wide receiver. He'll hold every record in the book by the time he leaves here. Well, one he has to do today, he has to get the big play downfield, Brent. Rod Payne. Fires complete over the middle. Offensive line, but for Penn State, this is the veteran group we're going to be talking about. Jeff Harding's. Number 50 is the left guard. Keith Conlon is next to him. Barry Tilsch is the center. Marco Rivera and Andre Johnson are over on the other side. An outstanding offensive line. This is another senior, Mike Archie, Michigan return man. Nice punch. Driven back to the 15-yard line. Toomer cannot shake a tackle, and there is a penalty for Bianca Batuka gets the initial call, and Todd Atkins from Newcastle, Pennsylvania, rips into him. And there is Brian Greasy, the junior signal caller and the son of our colleague Bob Greasy. Many of you will hear him later fashion. They have surrendered a lot of points this year. Atkins, number 58, is over there on that right end. Filardi's their leading tackler, number 47. They have an outstanding defensive back. And that's number 34, Brian Miller. Penzenic, who intercepted two passes in the Rose Bowl against Oregon, is in at hero or strong safety for the Nittany Lions. This is third and five. And again, the offensive line is giving Greasy time, but he overthrew the tight end. At midfield. He's going to get him Outstanding field position at the 33 yard line. And then Ingram comes in motion through it. Whitman, the fullback, he will lead number 40, Pitts. Richardson off a of play fake. And it's complete to Pitts to follow Whitman, who is the fullback. Here he comes. Dives for the first down for the Nittany Lions. So his first carry. Two very dangerous wide receivers. Can Richardson hit him for the big play? Yes. Going down. And now it's fourth down with the ball back at the 34. Outstanding. Floyd leading the Akimatuka. Now 
Siakam now for Greasy. Williams uh -oh. with a fake and Greasy going down with Brandon Noble of Virginia Beach on him. 93, here he comes left side of the screen. He hesitated for a second. He said, hey, I got one right here. Look, Brandon left side. He gets the call. Shamunga. Nice tackle. Oh, has three years, including this one having checked in. Greasy, nice pass to two running back. We are back down to second and ten, and they use Howard in this now. Another third down. This is Greasy's play. Quarterbacks have to take over here. There's that is something. Picked off at the 16 by Gerald Filardi from Huntington, New York. The middle linebacker drops back. Filardi backing out, just reading his own. He's watching the quarterback's eyes. He sees the receiver in control in front of him. He reads the quarterback's eyes and goes and takes right the Right side of the field. Pitts is the running back. Milne is the fullback. Milne opens the hole. They're blitzing him. Middle incompletion. They may be working with half the field. Let's see what happens now. That's a good punt. Oh, wow. And he's not going to get close to midfield. <laughs> I hope they were right. <laughs> Whoever they were. They're down. Intercepted. And Howard could not hold on to the ball. And Kim Herring picked off the ricochet. Pull on this one, Coach. Yeah, it ricocheted off his shoulder pad, Randy. Just laying it over the top. Here comes the ball. Bang, right up in the air. It's batted up there like volleyball. Right into Kim Herring's hands for the interception. Big, big play. I don't think it's his fault. I think no, this I ball should have been caught right yeah, there. Yeah, it should have been. Really, it should have been caught, Brent. Year two like Michigan. It's second down now. Scott turns back, and here's Whitman on a cutback, a beautiful run, and I believe Enos leads the way as a blocker this time. So we got another question in after this play, Brent. Third and three with Richardson throwing for the first down, nice. batted away so that, by... That's why I came back here today, uh, even though the weather was bad and the roads were bad. I got to see the guys who I came in with go through the last game. And um, it's very touching to come back in. I gave him all high fives, but I'm very happy to be here. So Wolverines will attempt to mount a drive. The Akabatuka finds a huge hole on the left side in a foot race. The Akabatuka steps goal. The Nittany Lions press at the line, and Greasy on the rollout. Buys time, and out of bounds. Down the middle, and Toomer! Interference? No. Tumor. Today in Happy Valley. 12-21. This is Enos, the freshman tailback. Third and one. And they just come by the receiver for the Nittany Lions. And hits. Big hole. In a race. First down. Midfield. Right, now freeze it right here. There was a tight end here that shifted over here. They got the defense to move over. Moving to the right as they slam. Now they come through. They get a good lead block right there. And he's off and running. Now Pitts has been a real good player this year for them. To really come out of the blue. Archie on the delay. And he dances first him. down at the Michigan. 32-yard line, and Enos with a big hole on the right side. Jared Irons coming over to help out. Enos, first down at the 20. Here's the toss to the freshman. Thompson's blitz left. They send him out as a receiver. They've got him. Archie, five. Archie, touchdown, Penn State. Archie scores for the Nittany Lions. Right here, they didn't pick him up coming out of the backfield. Someone should be assigned to pick him up. Many times it should be a safety coming out of the backfield. They didn't do it. He gets the block downfield. They get the touchdown as well. Quarterbacks are shaky. Let him run. Yakovituka, and he will not get away. <laughs> Off a of fake. Steps up against the rush. And he overthrew Lever. Howard, the lone running back. We see to the middle, Reamer's mob, it's short of the first down. Archie stays in the game, short drop, fires complete to England. Now, first down. Middle, high, Ingram got it, first down, Penn State. In the linebackers, top of your screen, play action pass, 
That'll freeze linebackers. You see also number 87 cross under. That kept Irons involved for a second. Just a nice catch right there. And it's Pitts blasting. Second and 10. Nittany Lions are up by 10. Richardson going to throw, and he's got the fullback wide open. Penalty flag as Whitman does the rest. And the ball went down. Helmet onto the ball. Now they knock it. See, he keeps fighting, keeps fighting, and gets the ball stripped by Chucky Winters, number 35. Chucky Winters, experienced free safety, loosens it up. Here comes Irons to knock it out the rest of the way. Wolverine quarterback. The Akabatuka into the middle of it. All right, John, and here the Wolverines are trying to dig out from that 10-0 hole. Brian Greasy can't get a man open, but Reamer's not. First down, Chris Howard, the lone running back. Greasy hit it on the release, but Hayes is open. And the move is on. Play fake. Steps away from the pressure in a foot race. Throws. And Hayes couldn't hold on in the end zone. And they're not. Sideline, out of bounds. Here. Here he is. He goes up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, he did a beautiful job. Oh, 117 left here in the first half. Greasy. Toomer. He got it. Touchdown. Wolverines and Amani Toomer with two. Folks, that's my all name defense yeah. right there. I love these guys. Also a pop. 10 7 now. Penn State over Michigan. Richardson. Bingo to the first down. Richardson goes deep to the end zone. Oh, incomplete. That was pretty smart. On that corner who was in the foot race. And now Pitts out of bounds stops the clock. Go into the deer hunter. And now Conway gets one up. And he's got another one, a 51-yarder to go with his 49-yarder. Penn State leading Michigan 13-7. We're at the half. Earlier this week, Michigan made news. Here was athletic director Joe Robertson. yards a game. There's 113 in the first quarter. So here's our second-half kickoff. And the Wolverines with Mercury Hayes bringing it out. And the snow starting to fall right here. Second down. 214 to 119, but Penn State has the time of possession, but they're also plus one on the turnover factor right there, and I think that's why the game is this right now as it is, 13 to 7. The Akabituka approaching 100 yards. He's rushed for 99. This will oh. Well, maybe not. Hold on, everybody, because Terry Killens of Cincinnati showing you why he's one of the Terry best at that Killen. defensive end. He's an outstanding blocker a couple times in the first half. Off a of play fake. Greasy firing high. Toomer first Michigan down. running back. Biakovituka. On second and three, Biakovituka is going nowhere. They're bringing people. Off a of fake. Greasy steps away from it. Hayes up in the air, and he is hit well, on the other. A little follow-up on that here, but first to play. Richardson from all summer. First down, Penn Respect. State. You bet. First not down. They're not going to run a slide tonight. Oh. Richardson over the middle. Dumps it off and picks it. Third down now, and the Nittany Lions need to reach the 43-yard line. All summer is short. It's early in a ball game. Tumor with a whole lot of good feelings that go back in time. And now Rishi, it's caught! The 47 yard line by Mercury Hayes. Now Tumor's on the short side. But Greasy puts back to the middle, and that one could have been intercepted. He wanted Reamer's ball. The flag comes. Field judge throws it late. There's the flag. There it is. Now we've had a phantom pass interference call. The Akabatuka battles his way toward the Wolverines are down 13-7. On 
Under heavy pressure, he's sacked at the 41-yard line by Todd Atkins. Time coming back. Here he is setting up on 75. That's Thomas Wines. He beats him with a good hard inside move. And this guy, when he is healthy, can play with the best of them. And that is a big, big play by Todd Atkins. Necessarily need it all. Greasy now back. Greasy with time. Greasy, they got it. First down, Toomer. 15 yards. Oh. And they did not fool anybody. That was Brandon Noble, number 90. Showing blitz. Off the of fake. Still gets time. Fade. Hayes can't get it. And into a pile of snow and some flying missiles. And Hayes is hit in the face. Yeah. Hayes was struck in the face by a snowball. Which could result in an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Here we have the one-on-one -on -one situation. Hayes on 33 Tate. He's going to go to the corner. Going to the outside. The ball was just a little too far. He had a beat for the six-pointer. Just couldn't get it there. Inches, inches, inches. He gets up, and then he gets hit in the face. These fans. you think we're in Vet Stadium. <laughs> I'll bet Jack Arruda is safe. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Hiding. <laughs> Coach Paterno went down to the 10 yard line and yelled at the fans to knock it off. And when he speaks, they listen. They've been listening for 46 years. <laughs> 30 is the head coach. <laughs> and Merkel, take a break. Toomer, the key guy. Now it's third and 12. They don't want to turn it over. Williams checks into the backfield. Greasy. Middle. Now Toomer sprinting. No first down, but they can kick a field goal from there. Here's Hayes again. Now what? He'll get up. Work his way out and wham in the face right there. Again. All right. Remy Hamilton to attempt a 29-yard field goal. And a good kicker, Brent. He doesn't miss many. Well, let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, let's call it all square. Shocking score for us. Second down. Richardson firing complete. He's got Ingram. Splits the defense. Ingram trying to shake free to the 31. Touchdown saving stop by Woodrow Hankin. Right here, he'll get the nice cut down blocks. Now that allows the quarterback to throw right over the top into that zone. And boy, when you get the ball in this guy's hands, it's a record every time he touches it. This formation. Pitts. And the trick was to get free to the 20. Richardson middles open and he couldn't hang on. They're going on a quick slant. There's some interference there. There's pass the flag. First down. Oh! Michigan. It is coming out. The freshman running back fumbles on his carry and four. Let's up inside. Fumble incomplete, and that one was in danger of being picked off. Checks in at running back, and Richardson just on the sideline. Oh, a big run by Pitts. Northwestern later today plays at Purdue. First catch of the day. And it's a first. Hits. And he has run hard. They run Whitman now of Whitman. Archie slipping out again. Got the ball. Oh, recovered. On the 11, almost the 12 yard line. The fair. He runs down it for the score. Touchdown, Penn State. 
young freshman out there, number 30. Now watch him take the move right here. Now watch him slip right there as he turns his hips improperly and goes to the ground. See, poor fundamental. Themselves a big play right here to Bobby Ingram. Good job, and nice job right here of throwing the ball properly by Wally Richardson. Back. Collins coming. Howard picks him up. Collins kept coming, complete to Toomer. Toomer works for 80,000 folks on hand. And listen to that. Michigan sound. showdown up at Ann Arbor next week. Greasy pulls out, fires complete, first down. Balls at the 36-yard line. Greasy, he's got Hayes in a foot race. He's got Hayes where he wants him. Yep. Hayes is out on this play. The Akima took his back, touchdown Michigan. Woo! Boy, when he gets Nation to the receiver. Pitts behind Mill. Slips to the outside. And Pitts crosses midfield. Right here, he blocks down. Tackle, Colin pulls. He constricts it. He bounces outside this time. He said, they ran inside me last time. I'm going to constrict it real hard. Fight back inside. What's he do? He bounces outside. Right there. That play should be made by Stephen King. 27 should make that tackle. Pitts has carried 13 times for 106 yards, and there, Richardson, the pocket's collapsing, he's down at midfield, touchdown, on the last drive, in a tailback, Brian Greasy, over the formation, you say that young Greasy's been the most comfortable with, oh, he had his man, a big punt, oh, a nice one, too, he drives him back for a fair catch, at the 34 08 2017, and here's Pitts. Pitts pulls free, and Pitts breaks it. They've got the angle on him. Pitts will try to turn it up now. Down at the seven yard line. Pins the shot. They toss the ball deep to it. You'll see 53 on the right side of your screen. See that nice block? He kicks him outside. Now, good running ability. Cut back. Gets a stiff arm out there. Old technique. Nice job. And this guy has waited for a long time to be the center of attraction at Penn State. He's always been a guy that never got to play very much. Look at this comparison. Pitts, 163 yards, 10.9 yards. Michigan, 122 yards. A 58-yard run. Archie picks him up. And Archie is stopped. He thinks Ohio State's faster than some of those teams down south right now. Now he's Nicky Lyons. Richardson's going to throw. Broken up beautifully in the end zone by Bowen. Don't get the three. So but would Michigan even think about playing for a tie? They may not have a choice. That's kind of interesting, Coach. It's yeah. a play. Touchdown, oh. State. Woo Joe Nastasi. Woo! Is that a shot? Coach Paterno called that one. Only the head coach can call that one. He can beat you with a touchdown, and I don't think the Wolverines are going to play for a tie today. Right. Harding's number 50 pulled out of his guard position, got a kick out lever. Joe Nastasi has a moment to remember. Very good blocking scheme at that time. Very clever. No more snowballs. We're winning this game. He's going up there and really chew. He's going to really chew. I'm going to get you and spank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, they got his Italian up. Coach Joe, you know, he's coaching today in front of his new grandson who was in the, the stadium today. Here he is right here. You'll see the block right here of the guard. Harding's pulling and kicking out as these people block down and seal off. He'll pull. Here they come. Now here he comes and he kicks out. He leads up to the hole. There, what a hole. And Conway booms one. Mercury. Great kickoff coverage. Great special teams play. Deep, deflected, oh. incomplete. Miller couldn't hold on. Greasy, high, incomplete. So on third and ten, Dillon's trying to get to Greasy. Fires, 
It's complete, but it's fourth down, and they're going to turn it over deep. They got the first down. It's Reamer's ball. Michigan with one timeout remaining. Greasy to the right, deep. Hayes, midfield. Another first down for the Wolverines. Are they going to get it? No. Down to the now Greasy away from pressure. Fires. Big field goal. Gave the Nittany Lions daylight. They're under man under right now. No, he and Toomer miscommunicated. This baby's history. Incomplete. He threw it high. Richards open up. There's the man of the day for Penn State. Our genuine Chevrolet most valuable players in this game are Jared Irons from the University of Michigan, Stephen Pitts from Penn State. And in celebrating its 25th year, Chevrolet donates $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to assist those in financial need. 27, 17, five ticks of the clock left, and this baby's over. For Jack Aroot and Dick Vermeil, I'm Brett Musburger saying so long from Happy Valley, where Penn State has beaten Michigan 27-17. Regional action is coming up next on ABC. So long, everybody.